without further ado, here we go. I'm gonna do Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne live on the net. Check it out. Correspondent, and we are back on the Bowery, and uh, boy, the the Arctic vortex has hit us here, and it's about uh, eight or nine degrees here. But we're going to run into the, the museum. We're going to get some quick views of the Triennial. Well, I just came up to the fourth floor and uh, we'll pan over the gallery here. Well, I'll uh, read a little bit from the press release here about surround audience. We are surrounded by a culture replete with impressions of life, be they visual, written, or constructed. Through data, we move through streams of chatter, swipe past pictures of other people's lives, and frame our own experiences as all the while our digital trails are subtly captured, tracked, and stored. So, uh, I would guess that the, one of the themes of the show is this kind of uh, manipulated space. Well, there's Christian Vavros found our critic for the Village Voice. Uh, just one impression, sort of looking over this gallery, is that. Uh, A lot of these framing units make me think of uh, minimalism, the Don Judd boxes, and uh, Larry Bell's kind of glass cubes. We'll start out looking at these pieces by Vernon Dangler. This is untitled. Tufted rug. Name dropping. And uh, Ren also did this piece. It's titled Sponsors 2001 to 2014. Embroidery 28 and 8 by 41. Well, they're calling this. Surround audiences curated by Lauren Cornell and Ryan Tricarton. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Ryan Tricarton was featured in the uh, Younger Than Jesus show. These are all by Vera here. We've got a whole installation of work. And uh, it's kind of a trend that a lot of people have been doing, sort of pack everything you've got in your studio, make a little environment of every kind of practice or thing you're working on. 
Well, I'm not going to get everybody's names and titles and all that stuff in. And uh, I don't have time because they <laughs> probably got about 40 minutes. Well, these are a couple of large acrylic on canvas paintings by Avery Singer. And uh, they're both untitled. They're 100 by 120 inches. And, uh, well, see they're technically very, uh, very accomplished. And uh, it's kind of a uh, perverted version of photorealism almost. This is uh, screen grabs, Photoshop stuff that has been very uh, beautifully fabricated. And uh, guys, this looks like a lot of airbrush work, masking tape. Well, the new museum's triennial, I think, is uh, their way of trying to uh, build some buzz that would uh, compete with the Whitney Biennial. And uh, I think maybe one of the differences is they try to uh, maintain this inclusivity of very young artists. Let's see what's in here. So I believe this is by Alexandra Dunamov Dunamovic, Soho Substance of Human Origins 2015. And uh, well, these are also very beautifully fabricated and uh, it looks like little robot hands. So we've got one that's Looks like it's got teeth that it's putting in the back. And, uh, very beautifully polished. I guess that's fiberglass or some kind of resin. Cells. Now the third floor. Madam Abbas, Hong Kong. Oh, well, that's kind of fun. This is like uh, a new version of sex. Safe, the ultimate safe sex. You could probably uh, rent one of these things in Hong Kong for about uh, $3,000 a month. Oh, love to be the uh, the gallery guide that has to stand there and make sure nobody touches the art. And these pieces are by Olga Blema from Amsterdam. And uh, they are plastic water, steel pipes, and acrylic. Lena Henk. Würzburg Plastic and steel and oh gee I'd say that's got to be about 18 feet high. We've got some chain mail oh, Hello, Anita from Artbeat Oh, 
Okay. I was going to say, if ISIS was doing this to someone, we'd all be screaming, but if you're an artist and you do it, everybody thinks it's great art. Oh, hey, there's the director, Richard Flood. Okay, this large installation is by Eva Kadakova. And, uh, well, I know when I run into a place that's got wall labels that are this long, I better watch out. But, uh, I guess here again, this is an example of what I was talking about. Uh, building an environment out of everything you've got in the studio, all of your various practices, styles, modes. So we've got the... Uh, steel sculptures that are, I guess, assisted ready-mades, kind of surrealistic, some collage. Got a performance piece, one of this lady's from Czechoslovakia, and uh, I like the bike sculpture. <laughs> also, I, uh, I assume that uh, these models are changing every 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, more video. Go Hamyang Chang or Jing. Seoul, South Korea. Various customized fitness machines. Guan Zhao. The documentary Geocentric Puncture. This is 2012 mixed media installation. And uh, I guess those are large of digital prints with uh, exotic snakeskin. This looks like fun. Josh Klein. and sophisticated installation. Oh my goodness, I got some painting here. Sasha Brownick. Someone sent me an inquiry about what my impressions were of contemporary surrealism. And uh, I posted something on Facebook, got into a long and heated uh, discussion that's still going on, but I would say that 
some of this by Sasha could be qualified as surrealism. when they show paintings in these kind of dim galleries. Although that uh, blue shadow is interesting. Hey, this is one of the more interesting pieces I've bumped into so far. It's by Antoni Catala, Distant Field 2015. And uh, yeah, I like this kind of uh, various types of coral and aquatic life plants. E3. Hmm. Okay, they've got this sound installation here in the stairwells, and uh, oh, this is really annoying. Continuing with our uh, marathon here, we'll just uh, come out and take a sweep of the second floor. Oh, hey, there's Jerry Saltz. Hey, that's Deborah Solomon from NPR. Deborah Solomon from NPR. NYC. Deborah Solomon, the great producer of this. We're going to Okay. Thanks, Jerry. Asli Kovuslogglu. <laughs> I have people that uh, say that I butcher a lot of people's names, but uh, I'll tell you what, when you see these names printed on a uh, wall label and you have uh, two seconds to come up with something, uh, don't expect to get it right all the time. Najeka Crosby. Uh, this looks like... Uh, Transfer prints, solvent uh, transfers, and maybe watercolor. Robert Rauschenberg used that technique a lot back in the uh, 50s and 60s. I think he did a book of Dante's Infernos using the uh, the transfer method. Well, I just bumped into Jerry and uh, checked. We've got 15 minutes to finish this up. Louise Hauser from London. Uh, as I was saying, there seems to be a couple of themes, I guess, running along their surround audience. And as I said, a lot of it is dealing with the frames and the boxes, the space that were contained in. And this, especially with this presentation, kind of uh, reinstates that boxy, contained kind of distancing from the world.
These are uh, offset lithography plates. Is that what those are? Don't look like it. Forenzi Lai from Hong Kong. Born 1984. Hmm. That makes me think of uh, Enzio Kuki without the uh, thick, chunky paint. This is one of the pieces that has gotten a lot of uh, attention and they were using as the kind of the logo for a lot of this show. Now this is titled Juliana and it's by Frank Benson. 2015. Painted Acquarelle Zurim plastic rapid prototype so here we get to combine uh, photorealistic sculpture kind of a uh, hot rod paint job and uh, Kind of transgender imagery. So I believe this is the work of Julian Huxtable. It's a digital prints. If you walk up through Harlem and along the Brown Bronx River, you can come to a space. Julian is from Houston. Sharina's curry. Okay, so these are actually, it looks like, photographs of pages from a notebook or sketchbook. This is a kind of Eastern European 1930s surrealism feel about it. It calls it Louise Bourgeois. Very beautifully crafted. Oh, I like this little uh, tableau. through the megaphone. Yeah. This is by yeah. Casey Jane Ellison. Yeah. So interesting. I was at Walmart um, getting my dolls. More video by this Casey Jane is, Ellison. I think something much more, much more, forgive me for saying it, but almost harmonic about not taking pride in that way. If it's not given, and that success is yours, totally, all three of you. I don't believe in e equality, male, female equality. I'd prefer to have the scale totally tipped and the world be just run by women for at least a thousand years to restore balance 
and to help repair what capitalism and what um, has happened to the world. I think that's Hillary Clinton's advisor. Carla was just saying that the longer he hung out, the more he got over both the strangeness and the familiarity of the art of you. So where did that put you? If it was no longer strange and it was no longer familiar, where did the art object end up being? Well, I just enjoyed the show more. Just enjoyed. <laughs> hey, dude, so when you sprung your new, your new art movement on me, I wasn't ready with any kind of quick repartee. What is it? Pithalism? Romantic piffalism. Romantic piffalism. The people that are standing up against the corruption of the art market. and. think there's any romantic piffalism in this show? I'd no. <laughs> that's a very, that's a very uh, prescient uh, statement, Walter. Thanks. It's Thomas Michelli, that used to be my uh, editor at the rail, taught me a lot of stuff. Hey, Foxconn. Okay, we all know what Foxconn is, right? That's the uh, huge company that has city complexes in China where they make all the Apple products. So uh, if you use Apple products, you should feel very guilty. Lisa Holzer, Vienna, Austria. You know, I'm thinking if uh, somebody was to sit down and read all these wall labels, you would be here for two days. I was talking to Carla McCormick and he said that uh, this sculpture, by DIS, D-I-S, which I guess must be a collaborative group, titled The Island. So again, we've got this kind of minimalist architecture. They were saying that somebody actually came in and uh, showered here, and uh, way after my pedal across the bridge and running up and down the stairs, I'm I'm ready for a shower myself. Hmm. Any first impressions, Rag? No, I have no the comment. <laughs> you don't want to bite on your own uh, material there, huh? I want to digest it. First. Okay. Well, that was Harag. Maybe some of you people see his blog. Uh, Hyperallergic. Got a couple of uh, little figurative sculptures here by Renaud Jerez. PVC, aluminum, cotton, rubber, wood, chair, webcam, and sneakers. Oh, gotta have the webcams in there. So I guess you could probably go online and watch streaming videos of people coming up and looking at the sculpture. James Com coming to you from the New Museum, bringing you a quick report on surround audiences. The New Museum's triennial here on the Bowery. Thank you, Kate. Oh.